Well, we're just outside Camp Verde, and we did not go with plan A. It looked like a long trail to a short helicopter ride. Uh, don't want to do that today. So we're going to do something uh, a little different, uh, heading over to what some folks may call a ghost town, and uh, hopefully have a good time. Back on the dirt. Never, uh, never taken this way before. I usually uh, take, uh, well, I usually cross over from a camp spot on 169, Arizona 169, and then come up the other way, which is mostly dirt. The other route has a, uh, a little oddity to it. You're riding along on uh, dirt road, actually dirt road that's not even as nice as this. And about five miles into it, pavement pops up. Not just blacktop, but blacktop with, you know, the center crown, the yellow lines and uh, white lines on the side and that goes for a few miles and then disappears and you're back on dirt again Must have been some type of weird funding thing Definitely very pretty here Not exactly sure what mountains Those are but I believe it's the same mountain range that has uh, Mingus Mountain which is uh, Kind of the way I go to uh, Yarnell up there, not Yarnell. Um, uh, my brain's fried this morning. Uh, that's the way I go to Jerome. You go right over Mingus Mountain to get there. So the reason why I qualified our destination. As, uh, as, as under some people's definition. I, de I define it as a ghost town. I know I've had some comments from folks is how well, how can, how can it be a ghost town if people live there? Well, um, many of these towns I visit have been re-inhabitated or uh, are much less than the original inhabitants were. So, I mean, if, if a community goes up to you know even 1500 3000 people or more and then all of a sudden you're you're down into the 10 percentile or 5 percentile what that is and the original intent purpose of that community is no longer viable uh, you kind of have to call it call it a ghost town in my book um, like I said a lot of these were abandoned for uh, many years and people have come back and uh, fixed up the buildings and uh, found that uh, life is good way out in the uh, in the boonies where people used to toil away at mines or ranching or whatnot. down at the GPS the lines get all sorts of squiggly this is super fun on the dirt but if this thing was paved you wouldn't be able to keep the sport bikes away from here with a stick
look at that view. Whew. So pretty. You never know what you're going to run into when you uh, look at stuff on Google Earth. And so far this has been like a dirt super highway as to words. But you do have to be careful like plan A today as I mentioned earlier. Uh, it turned out to be a boulder fest. I got about, I don't know, a quarter mile down the trail that I was looking at. I wanted to do something a little bit more technical, I guess you would say, than this. And it was a uh, full-size adult noggin boulders. And uh, actually a guy stopped me when I turned around on my way out. He's like, yeah, that's a good idea for you to turn around. I said I was going to come back on my dirt bike. He said that was probably the best idea you had all week. Yeah, I don't know if you guys could tell, but this is super curvy. It's really neat. You can get the back wheel to spin in a little bit. But we're just following these ridges. It's kind of like a pass. We're heading up and over, and I'm assuming at some point back down a little ways anyway. just went flying by or deputy however you want to phrase that just moving right along downward elevation change since uh, since I started this little journey about seven or eight miles ago down in the 
little canyon. Not sure what that is. Wow. There's just a lot of building in Arizona. I'm looking at a whole bunch of buildings, even out here in the super rural areas. Um, building like crazy. All these buildings I've seen has been in the last, it's like in the last five years or so. Just judging by how nice and new they are. Some of this is looking familiar. I think we might be right near Cherry. Yep, I remember that old barn. Shatter. House. There's an old original building. Someone's living in. Yeah, we're running right into Cherry now. There's a bed and breakfast. And Cherry is the ghost town that I was telling you about. Hope they don't mind Firefighters Ave here. I'm gonna pull in here and have a little chat. So we've uh, stopped in uh, Terry, Arizona. Uh, we're at the uh, Volunteer Fire Department. It's kind of the most recognizable part of uh, downtown, I guess you could call it. Volunteer Fire Department. Um, kind of a neat photo op. To stop at there's like I mentioned before there's a B&B &B down the road and this is mostly and my definition of ghost town um, is uh, maybe different than others it's not not necessarily just abandoned or whatever but it's it's uh, down in population and does not have the same purpose it once served and this is kind of what it is this is a sleepy little um, retirement slash vacation community now folks come up here and get a nice little uh, a little respite from the valley or up north or uh, wherever it is that they may come from. A little bit of defunct fire equipment. Water tower is just cool. Got a little deuce and a half. When I was uh, on a volunteer fire department back east, they had one of those. It's just a beast. Barely sounded like it ran, but it would go anywhere. Must be the chief's truck. I don't know what's behind the door number one over there, but it's the actual firehouse. So Cherry started out as a stage stop between Fort Verde and um, Prescott. So, um, you know, travelers would come here. And at some point, someone had the idea to um, check out the mining in the area and there's been there's eight of them I believe the biggest one I know of is federal mine um, I haven't been there yet I've been through this area quite a bit but I'm usually going one way or the other on the dirt bike so um, but this has been was started in the 1850s I think it petered out in the 1890s somewhere around there This is the Cherry Cemetery. If you look up Cherry uh, on Wikipedia, there's a, a old timey photo right of this, uh, this gate. I don't know if we can go in or not, but we'll give it a shot. Well, that was right out of a Vincent Price movie. And there's an ore cart there. Let me try to be as respectful as we can. Looks 
looks like 1907, 1890. It looks like these markers have been redone in recent past, 1898 to 1902. There's some small markers there. Not really sure how to walk around here. I don't want to be dancing on someone's grave, if you will. I assume a lot of these are lost to time. There's some stones that are just propped up in certain locations. Maybe they knew someone was buried there or something, but there doesn't seem to be a marker denoting who it is. Forty three to twenty sixteen, nineteen ten to sixty four. Looks like the family still still may use this. A few of these have 1890s birth date, so I would assume a lot of these folks maybe have, were born here and, and either lived here their lives or moved back or were last wishes were to return them here. Someone's got a reservation. Yeah, many of these are are newer, but uh, a few from during that period, and uh, quite a few look like they were maybe born here. Let's see what's over in this here nook. These graves look old and quite stately. Eighteen seventy-three to two thousand and three. I don't think so. It's hard to read the stone. It looks old, but maybe not. These are newer graves, also. Margaret Martin Frice. March 13th, 1905. 22 years, 11 months, and 17 days. Looks like that was meant to be a family stone. some folks that were born in the mid 1860s and passed away in the uh, early to mid 19th century or 20th century huh. well this would be a heck of a place to uh, to spend Halloween that's for sure we'll uh, poke back to the bike and see where else we can go Alright, I'm gonna get back on the back on the road here. Yeah, I'll need to make a concerted effort to get back here on a dirt bike next time I'm up here camping and uh, find the mines that are up here. Did do it one day, but it just didn't didn't pan out very well. I ran into private property and 
whatnot. Well, as I ride out Cherry Road here, I'd like to say I appreciate you watching any and all of my videos. Please comment, subscribe, like and share. Adios.